Hi friends! Today we're going to be learning about action verbs. So let's get started. So what is an action verb? Well, a verb is one of the most important parts of the sentence. It tells the subject's actions, events, or state of being. It is always found in the predicate part of a sentence. A verb that shows action is called an action verb. The words are action verbs. Coughed. <coughs> ran. <coughs> swallowed. <coughs> awake. <coughs> ride. Sang. Okay, so these are all action verbs. Can you find the action verb in each sentence? Sometimes I like to ask myself, what did they do? Like this, the girls danced in the recital. What did they do? They danced. Yes, that word is an action verb. All right, let's try another sentence. Our mailman drove a funny car last week. Hmm, what did he do? He drove. Yes, that word is an action verb. His teacher wrote the answers on the board. What if I click teacher? No, teacher is not an action verb. A teacher is a noun, a person, a place, or a thing. And I need to try that one again. His teacher wrote the answers on the board. What did he do? He, his teacher wrote. Okay, now that we understand different um, ways to find action verbs in sentences. Let's move on. An action verb that describes an action that is happening right now is called a present tense verb. Right now, I am speaking to you. The bird flies through the sky. Flies is a present tense verb because it is happening right now. Many present tense verbs end with S, but some end with ES or IES. For example, sleeps, splashes, <laughs> cries, Verbs which tell about actions which happened some time ago are past tense verbs. The dog wanted a bone. Wanted is a past tense verb because the action has already happened. Let's take a look at the word wanted. It ends with ed. Oftentimes, ed signals to us that a verb has happened already in the past. Many past tense verbs end with ed, but some end with the or ied. Like clap. Or the word played. That was a very good try. Or tried. Like you tried to do it. Future verbs. Verbs which tell about actions which are going to happen are called future tense verbs. We will awaken at 6 a.m. Will awaken is a future tense verb because the action has not yet happened. It's going to happen in the future. Future tense verbs use special words to talk about things that will happen. Will, going to, shall, aim to. Like my car is going to start in the morning. I hope. Well, when you figure it out, email me. We shall email one another, which we don't really use that phrase very much, but sometimes grown-ups use it. You are really enjoying this, aren't you? Yes, I am. We will enjoy this lesson together tomorrow. 
Helping verbs. A helping verb works with a main verb to help you understand what action is taking place. Take a look at this sentence. Elmer was using the computer. If It's easy for us to figure out the action verb, using, but we couldn't say Elmer using the computer. We need the helping verb was. It helps out the action verb and helps it make sense in the sentence. Elmer was using the computer. There are 23 helping verbs. May, might, must, be, being, been, am, are, is, was, were, do, does, did, should, could, would, have, had, has, will, can, and shall. You'll see these helping verbs as they're scooted up next to action verbs. They help the action verb make sense in the sentence. Other things to keep in mind. Not every sentence will have a helping verb with the main verb. And when you see an ing verb such as running, be on the lookout for a helping verb with it. Sometimes there is another word which separates the helping verb from the main verb. One common example is not, as in the boy couldn't find his socks. The helping verb is could and the main verb is find. A sentence may contain up to three helping verbs to the main verb. An example would be, the dog must have been chasing the cat. The helping verbs are must, have, and been. The main verb is chasing. Okay, there are lots of things for you to do, and we are excited that you are learning about verbs with us. You can flip through or play this um, back to make sure that you understand all about verbs. Okay. Mm.